All right, so yeah, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, the final previews video is about IGN, and the great video. Let's see what IGN says about it real quick. It's a preview, I'm a so. huge fan of Super Mario Odyssey, and I've long been disappointed that Nintendo still hasn't expanded on its winning formula. Despite Breath of the Wild, which arrived in the same year getting not only DLC, but also a fully-fledged sequel, Mario Odyssey's unique approach seems like it has largely been left by the wayside. Super Mario Maybe Brothers Wonder though feels positioned to fill that void. Right, and go. everything that I've played and seen so far scratches the innovative itch that I've come to expect from my favorite platforming plumber. Okay, all right. Dale Driver. Let's see Super what Dale Mario says. Brothers Wonder is a traditional 2D side scrolling Mario adventure. Yeah. More in line with the original trilogy and Super Mario World than its more experimental 3D relatives. But unlike its 2D seniors, Wonder has a new, renewed emphasis on the stage, bringing its worlds to life with ridiculous levels of charm and yes, I'm going to say it, Wonder. Key to this are the Wonder Flowers, collectibles that alter bro, the those landscape and are massively are like, affect like, how like you progress Mario levels. drugs, bro. During literally, my hands-on time, I've so far drugs. seen level-destroying bull charges, sentient and rideable warp pipes, and a torrential downpour of superstars. It's literally like... But it's not you, just the environment that Wonder Flowers can alter, with the characters' bodies and the players' control scheme up for grabs too. Standouts for my play session included desperately trying to control the direction of an inflated toadette by furiously flapping my I arms think that's the point, and though. having adorably limited jump capabilities after being morphed into a stealthy spike walking Goomba. My taste of these changes were small, but the implications of variety was clear. From even the shortest of glances, the beauty of Mario Wonder's visuals is plain to see. It has a level of vibrancy and motion typically reserved for Mario's 3D worlds. Yeah. The stages I played also offered a new level of detail to the 2D planes that truly take it Wonder looks fun. to That's the next the thing. level. I, I think it looks fun. From the motivational and sometimes suspiciously curious flowers to the snot bubbles on the sleeping Goombas and everything in between, I never got bored of inspecting. Yeah, everything every is like very animated hey, in this game. Rhyme. I didn't mean that. Which is nice. There I think Mario games right now should everywhere. be animated. Mario is more expressive than ever, from wiggling his little legs and forgetting getting his cap before entering warp pipes That's to his cool. adorable little that angry cool. run and cat parachute when he's in his squishiest form. Yeah, he's it's so animated in this game. extreme levels lie. of care have like been taken to bring the world and characters of Wonder to life. I feel confident in saying that this is the prettiest Mario game so far. Bro, I said the same thing, bro. This game looks so good, bro. Super Mario Bros. Wonder thing. isn't just a plumber's world, though, with a whole cast of characters available to choose from. Somewhat disappointingly, though, Ooh, the majority oh, of the cast, right? oh, barring Yoshi and Rabbit, invincible characters that serve as child-friendly easy modes, play exactly the same. Though I understand why the control parity choice makes sense for multiplayer, I do feel like there's a missed opportunity here for platform puzzle solving. Further encouragement to revisit levels as characters with different abilities that allow you to access more previously inaccessible paths would have been a welcome touch for replayability. Okay, I that's mean, not to I, say I there won't right be there. any replayability though. Mario and his friends do come with other persistent forms that alter how you play, yeah. including the extremely useful drill hat, traditional that, fireball okay, that drill hat Mario, thing was really and fun, the already bro, iconic elephant that you may have seen in the trailers. That Yoshi has to carry this elephant. These abilities not only help with level variety, but are regularly, along with the special action badge abilities, key to collecting the hidden wonder seeds throughout the stage. Bro, Yoshi has to get... This often provoked me to reload the demo stage and try new tricks to see where the seeds I'd missed were creatively hidden. The new abilities naturally help deal with enemies as well. Although being able to spray water from his trunk and ride Yoshi might be the elephant's headline features, bro, oh I have to God, say I'm a particular fan Yoshi of being able to crush those pesky, nut-throwing squirrels to death by pushing pipes together like a trash compactor. This man back and that is for me screaming. is the key to Mario Wonder's success. Not specifically the pipe crushing, but the creative ways of ever evolving the familiar formula. The blueprints for a 2D Mario game are almost as old as the industry, yet Nintendo constantly finds new ways to mix up the fun, adding fresh but never out you of place ideas it, to you keep gotta fans respect returning. It, Nintendo, From what I've seen it. so far, Wonder proves once again that Nintendo remains an incredible innovator consistently keeping you on its toes with its next ingenious mechanic and way to play. Yep. It has also established an impressive history of rarely using the same trick twice, even within the same game. And this track record of innovation fills me with excitement for everything I've yet to see in Wonder. And after the glimpses of the other wild stages we've seen in the latest trailer, it feels like the possibility for the plumber and his friends are endless. <laughs> I like how he calls him the plumber. The, uh, the plumber. I like that. And if you like that video and you want to find out more about All Super right. Mario Brothers Wonder, why not check out the gameplay overview? Shout out to Dale for his insight.
on Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Um, all right, here's my insight on it, right? And I think that, it, and here's why I say this, right? Nintendo, first of all, they're in a the league of their own. When it comes to just like create, like cur- uh, da, 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 creativity or whatever, they're in a the league of their own, bro, honestly. They have a bunch of fun games, but also these fun games can be challenging at the same time. And I feel like for a lot of gaming companies, it, that's kind of difficult to do. You know, you want to uh, create a game that's really fun, but also, you know, not too fun to where it will get boring, you know, because a little bit of well, not a little bit but a lot of something is, is is not always a good thing if that makes sense so if they make a game too fun then obviously i'm not saying that you know the game is easy but chances are the game is you know a little easy and everybody likes a challenge you know even me like whenever i complain about call d or whatever you know and and about how i say oh well you know some of this needs to be taken out da, 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 da. that's just me talking i'll be honest i like going up against people that are better than me so i can get better you know i don't want to go up against you know uh level one uh school threat bots and, and it, well, that's not gonna do nothing for me i want to go up against like the, the the hardcore sweats that play the game 24 hours a day you know i don't want to you know go up against easy people so i do like how nintendo um how, how they make a fun game but also how they they in they in, they implement that's the word cool vocabulary word they implement uh like a lot of challenges puzzles and stuff like that for example like in zelda uh it's not just uh you know sunshine and rainbows uh it's fun, but also there's like a little challenge to it, especially with a Mario game. But with a Mario game, I feel like a lot of the, a lot of like the puzzles in a Mario game aren't really meant to be hard because a Mario game is, is supposed to just keep going. Um, I feel like if, if 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 the puzzles are too hard, like if it's like God of War type puzzles, oh yeah, Mario. Listen, a Mario game would not be enjoyable at all. If it's like a God of War type of puzzle, bro, to where you gotta. Uh, hold this and then lift this up while well, then you got to solve a math problem. You got to solve a math equation to see uh, how many clouds are in the sky. Then, you know, people wouldn't play it. But um, at the end of the day, I do respect Nintendo for, um, you know, for always keeping Mario games fun. In my opinion, obviously, everybody's, you know, everybody's different to their own opinion. I, I, you know, we all got to respect that. Stop thinking that your opinion means shut up. But um, other than that, uh, <laughs> other than that, I respect Nintendo for making um, a lot of these Mario games fun for us. Um, also, I, listen, I'll be honest. One thing that I'm excited for is the multiplayer. Um, the multiplayer seems really fun. It's, everything seems really fast paced. Everything seems very well uh, animated. So shout out to Nintendo for that. And um, other than that, I don't got really nothing else to say. It comes out the 20th the same day as Spider-Man. So uh, that's going to be, a, that's, that's gonna be uh, a crazy day. October 20th. Mark that on your, cl- uh, on your calendar. I said calendar. Uh, mark that on your calendar. And um, But yeah, Mario Super... Uh, Super I'm trying to say like the, the 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 game name without looking at the screen because it's so it's so weird for me to say the name, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I'm just say Super Mario Wonder. I'm just say that because like listen, <laughs> I've been missing out on the Bros. for a while, so I'm just say Super Mario Bro, uh, Super Mario Wonder. Um, but yeah, we got Super Mario uh, Super Mario Wonder. We also got Spider Man Two dropping October 20. If you guys did not know, the same day, which is going to be hectic because as a guy who makes video game content. I kind of have the gamble of, okay, which one am I going to drop first? And I'm leaning more towards the Spider-Man 2 since I've been, I've been waiting more for Spider-Man 2, like the next Spider-Man game. But obviously, I'm dropping, um, you know, uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder content as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to the channel. The support over the past few days has been absolutely unreal. Honestly, listen, I don't really check my analytics like that, but I checked my analytics the other day. Brother, it's crazy. Okay, honestly, I'm, I'm not even, <laughs> hey, I promise you, I, I wouldn't lie to y'all. Like, if I, and if I lied to y'all, my nose would get bitter. Like, I'm not Pinocchio, you know. But listen, uh, over the past few days, the support has been absolutely ridiculous for the YouTube shorts. Uh, to people that, that like the long-form content, except, shout out to you guys, man. Um, other than that, I'll see you later for the next one. All right, get out of my face. Peace.